Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Shoemake. I have a question for you. Do you forget your keys? Uh, do you forget phone numbers easily that you used to remember? Do you forget where something is around the house? Um, if your memory is going, pay attention to today because we're going to talk about Alzheimer's disease and how it actually stems from inflammation and oxidative stress. If you drive around my office right now, they're just they're building two huge complexes within about two miles of here that are Alzheimer's uh, nursing homes. So there's so many people that are being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease right now, and they're mostly uh, baby boomers are starting to retire, and and this is now happening at the same time. What they're saying is that this is a it's a two billion dollar a day industry um, in the trillions of dollars per year. Once all the baby boomers are retired, they're saying that up to 30% are going to have have Alzheimer's disease, and if that's the case. We're in big trouble in this country. And I want you to know that there's something that you can do about it um, instead of just waiting for it to happen to you. So we're going to talk today about oxidative stress and inflammation. Um, first of all, oxidative stress is the, really at the root cause of just about any disease that you have to worry about. It's the process by which you age. It's the process by which your, your, your DNA gets damaged. It's the process by which you develop disease is oxidative stress. The idea behind that is if I, if I take a bite of an apple and I leave the apple out for two hours, what color does it turn? Well, it's going to turn brown, right, where I took the bite. That's oxidation. Well, that same process is happening in your body, and it's called oxidative stress. So oxidative stress causes heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease is caused by that oxidative stress. So what the heck can you do about it? Well, eating fruits and vegetables, that's great. You know, making sure you're, you have a good diet, those things are really good. But we're under so much uh, of a barrage from oxidative stress that you need to do more than that. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about a brand new supplement that we actually have in our office now um, that's called Daily Defense. And this is one of my, my new favorites, and it's really, really great at decreasing oxidative stress in your body. There's a, there are a few different things that are in here um, that are very powerful when it comes to decreasing that oxidative stress, which causes, again, Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer. Um, the first one is amla berry, and that's been shown to neutralize free radicals in your body at a really high level. Uh, there's another one, N-acetylcysteine, which is not only great for your brain and memory, but it also is really great for helping your body produce glutathione. And then there's also what's called superoxide dismutase, which is a very powerful antioxidant, which neutralizes free radicals in your body. So if you think of that process of the apple turning brown, Brown, well, if that's happening in your cells, you're developing disease. But what the daily defense does is it stops you from basically from the apple from turning brown. It would, it would keep it young and keep it healthy. Well, that's the same thing that it does for your body. So daily defense is absolutely huge. If you haven't seen this, check it out the next time you're in the office. And then the other one is going to be your optimal omega. A lot of people have questions about fish oil. I get a lot of questions like, should I take fish oil? Should I take flaxseed oil? Should I do krill oil? And I'm a big believer in fish oil, but it's got to be the right type of fish oil. Number one is it has to be what's called pharmaceutical grade, which means all of the mercury has been filtered out. You hear about problems with tuna and different cold water fish having too high of mercury content. Well, you don't want to be doing that with fish oil. So if you're going to Sam's Club and you're taking and you get a big tub of fish oil that's 500 fish oil for or tablet is for five dollars that stuff's full of mercury so you wouldn't eat you know a can of tuna every day if you're worried about mercury you wouldn't get a flu shot where you're getting all that mercury in the cheap fish oil so it's got to be what's called pharmaceutical grade the second thing is it's got to be in the right ratio and you've heard if you've heard me talk before about the ratio of fatty acids you have your omega-6 fats the, those that causes inflammation and your omega-3 fats that reduce inflammation well your ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 should be two to one, that's ideal. Two to one omega-6 um, to omega-3. The problem is most people in our country are 25 or even 50 to one, which means we're very inflamed. And again, that's at the root of diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, all of those things that are really inflammatory conditions. So how do you fix your ratio? Well, you take the right ratio of fish oil. So this optimal omega has the right ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, so it actually gets into the cell membrane and regulates those those ratios so you decrease inflammation in your body so who should be taking this there's a simple test that you can do at your computer right now uh, is you can just take your fingers and you put it right up under your your neck here and if you feel a pulse there that's a positive test for needing to take these two supplements because of just the onslaught of toxins and infl inflammation in our bodies right now so um, these are two that will keep you um, out of those Alzheimer's uh, nursing homes and keep your brain working um, so that you never have to end up there